This is the Seiko Zimbi 16 Mini Tuna Thailand Limited Edition. The reference number is the SRPJ55, and this will retail for about $900. It will be limited to 1,000 pieces and individually numbered on the back of the watch in the stainless steel case back. This one is number 805 out of 1,000. We have a 43.2 millimeter diameter, 43.9 is the lug to lug dimension, 12.9 in overall height, and a lug width of 20 millimeters. So this watch definitely plays small, and I would consider this a true unisex watch. And if you love the standard size tuna, but you want something smaller, something more manageable, I think this case is definitely for you. My wrists are 7.25 inches just for reference. And I will also drop in a shot here of this watch on my wife's wrist, which I actually think looks better than the watch on my wrist. Now we have a gray and orange color scheme here, this Zimbi 16 color scheme that I think looks really sharp and it will come in a cherry hydro dipped composite box, a limited edition box that carries an orange interior and a compartment for the paperwork and an included microfiber cloth. This is far nicer than what you will normally see or get from Seiko, which I know some of you don't care about the box. It goes in the closet. You never look at it again. You don't want to spend money on something that's not going on your wrist. But I think it's important to get something cool when you have a regional limited edition like this one is meant for the Thailand market, the 16th Zimbi edition or collector's edition that Seiko has released to date. Now, continuing with the details of the watch, we have a metallic concentric textured bezel with orange and silver indexing for the majority of the bezel. And then the first 20 minute portion of this bezel is done in silver with black indexing. We have a hard lex covered loom pip and classic Seiko bezel action. It is not particularly satisfying, but it is classic Seiko. Uh, so I'll drop in the audio of that here for you guys to see. Here's also the loom shot so you guys can get a sense of how this looks. There is the date aperture at the 430 position. So this does not break into the three or the six marker. Nice and legible in low light. If we go in on the dial on a macro level, you guys can see a smoke gray type of color here on the dial on the chapter ring. We have black printing and gunmetal applied markers, gunmetal hands, and an orange seconds hand. The only thing that I don't really love so much is the white date wheel at the 430. I don't mind the fact that it's there, but I think on a limited edition like this that carries a higher retail price of about $900, the least Seiko could do would be gray out that date wheel and make it a little bit more stealth. Now continuing, the watch will have a gray silicon strap that matches the dial and that portion of the bezel. It's long, it's supple, you have metal hardware, and the keeper is signed Seiko, so that's nice to see. The case back of the watch has the classic Tsunami medallion and the Zimbi print off to the side, in addition to limited edition uh, written here and the individual number of the production run. This one is number 805 out of 1,000. Now, my only real criticism of the watch outside of my personal uh, you know, nitpick of the date wheel color is the fact that Seiko is using a 4R35 movement as opposed to a 6R35 movement at a watch that retails for about a, you know, about $900. Now, this comes back to my background with Seiko. I've been in the game long enough that I remember 4Rs in Seikos that cost $200, $300, $400. I like to draw the line at 500 for this caliber, so this is nearly double my personal limit. And maybe I'm just being a little nitpicky here or uh, a little obsessive, but I think if you're approaching $1,000 in the price segment for Seiko, the least you should have is a 6R movement, if not something better than that. And let me know if you agree with me or if I'm off base in that uh, type of thinking. But I'd like to shout out strapseeker.com who sent this in for a review. This is not a sponsored presentation. Strapseeker.com is uh, run by a friend of mine, Adeline. They stock limited edition and regional release Seiko and Citizen and Orient and I will leave a link in the description of the video to their website. They also sell rubber backed leather straps, other hybrid straps, NATO straps, and FKM products, all at pretty reasonable prices. So thank you for watching today. Please reach out with any questions you may have about this Zimbi 16 Mini Tuna Thailand Limited Edition. Have a great day. 
and I'll see you in the next video.